name is Sarah Queeton and I work for CGG Veritas as a shooter. My name is Sheldon Spencer, Ryan Barrows, Stacy Cooney, Keith Van Cuso, Travis Charles, Sandre, Ryan Goose, Coy Fam, Brian Ang, Brody Harding, James Bryce, Lori, Tim Murder, Aaron Holt, Kim, Julianne, and I'm a rover with Wolf Surveys and Mapping. Hi, my name is Kelly Tonch and I am the Human Resources and Health and Safety Environment Coordinator for the Canadian Association of Geophysical Contractors, otherwise known as the CAGC. I'm here in Calgary, Alberta, the heart of Western Canada's oil and gas industry. Our association represents over 400 companies and individuals in a very important but lesser known aspect of oil and gas, seismic exploration. Just like every other industry, we are seeking young and talented workers. Are you looking for a way to make quick money to pay off your post-secondary pursuits? Are you naturally adventurous? Seismic serves up a buffet of challenging, exciting, and high-paying options. Yours for the choosing. So what is seismic, anyway? No, not earthquakes, but it does have its similarities. Ever wonder who actually explores for the oil and gas that heats your house and puts gas in your car? Welcome to the seismic industry. Seismology is the study of earthquakes. Seismic pertains to vibration of the earth. The geophysical or seismic industry creates artificial seismic energy and then records the data produced by the vibration. Oil and gas companies then interpret the data recorded by seismic companies to determine where and how to drill for those resources. Seismic crews are the explorers, the first in the field the front runners in the race for oil and gas. They are the adventurers. They are hardy and physically fit, trekking up mountains and into ravines, often going where no man or woman has gone before. Surveyors are the point men. They create the maps and the routes for others to follow. On foot, on quad, or on snowmobile, surveyors cover vast expanses of terrain using high-tech GPS and survey equipment. The GPS rover marks the station locations as indicated on the program map. The buried facilities locator is specially trained to locate underground pipelines and cables for crews to avoid. And the survey coordinator supervises the crew's safety and production. When seismic work takes place in heavily wooded areas, a path must be cleared. Tree fallers fire up chainsaws and create hand-cut lines through the bush for crews to follow. Mulcher operators use low-impact machines called mulchers that make a narrow trail through the bush, grinding and churning fallen wood into wood chips and debris. The line clearing crews must be environmentally sensitive, as they do work in close proximity to many species of wildlife. Seismic drilling is done by a crew consisting of a driller's helper, driller, and usually a field mechanic. This crew follows the line, drilling holes into the earth to load explosive charges. Drills may be transported by trucks, buggies, tracked equipment called nodwells, or helicopter. Pilots transport drills and the seismic gear using long lines under the helicopter to deploy and retrieve the equipment. The explosives are detonated by regulated and trained shooters. The vibration is then picked up by recording devices called geophones. The seismic data is captured electronically by the observer from a trailer, often referred to as the doghouse. All phases of this activity are organized and controlled by the staging coordinator, with support from the health, safety, and environment associate. As you can see, there's plenty to do before an oil and gas company goes to work. Now that you're an expert on the seismic industry, you can see how working with helicopters and explosives might be more appealing than working in your typical burger joint or 9 to 5 office job. You may have heard the myth that seismic offers only seasonal work. The reality is, is that this industry is full of successful people who have enjoyed lifelong careers. Listen to what they have to say. 
Hi, I'm Mike Scott. I'm with CGG Veritas. I'm the general manager for the Canadian Land Acquisition Group. And I started my seismic career in 1977. Hi, my name is Danny McLeod. I work for Boyd Petra Search and I've been in the seismic industry for 14 years. My name is Al Stanley. I've been in the industry for 27 great years. Vince Parker. I've been in the seismic industry for 32 years. Hi, my name is Wendy Whitlock. I'm with Wildside Environment Land and I've been in the seismic industry for 15 years. Hi there, my name is Danny McDonald. I started the seismic industry 40 years ago in 1967. Hi, my name is Rod Garland. I've been working seismic since I was 26, and uh, that was a really long time ago. The remainder of this DVD features one-on-one -on -one interviews with young, motivated individuals who have joined our ranks. We've asked the questions we think you might be asking about responsibilities, advancement opportunities, essential skill requirements, and work schedules. We've gotten up close and personal to see what inspires these people and what advantages they have found in their seismic careers. Following each interview, detailed job information will appear on your screen. Feel free to pause and write down everything you need to know. For more information on careers in our industry, visit our website at www.cagc.ca.